Today we're going to go through three different jabbing techniques that you can use at home, um, on the pads, on the bags here, or even in the ring. The first jab is going to be a very common jab. This is a step-in jab. So what we're going to do, we're going to step in and throw our jab at the same time. We want to land our jab as our foot lands. We don't really want that jab to land when our foot's in the air, so make sure your foot is nice and firmly planted there, okay? Um, what this is going to do is it's going to close the range on our opponent when we land it, but it's going to make sure that we're not there to be hit when they try and return. Uh, the second one that we're going to do is a travelling jab. So with a travelling jab, we want to bring our back foot with us to be able to shorten that time to throw that right hand, so it kind of quickens the one-two. For purposes sake, my partner here is going to throw the one-two as he travels. So we step in, travel, and then throw the two. Good. And again, please. We step in and travel. Good. And then throw the two. This shortens down the time a little bit to land that cross if we were to alternatively do a step in jab and then bring the back foot to throw that two. Just cuts down the time a little bit there. The last one we're going to do is a defensive jab. What the defensive jab does is it makes sure that if your opponent tries to pressure you or tries to land a shot on you, it just gives you a little bit more certainty of you being a little bit safer, gets you back on your range without stepping, without just moving back, without throwing anything defensively. Um, it also disturbs their rhythm a little bit. So for purposes sake, if we were to do that traveling jab and our opponent tried to land a shot, we could use this defensive jab to, to close that distance without being in as much danger as just conventionally stepping back. So to do this, what we want to do is we want to push off our front foot, our back foot goes and we fire that hand at the same time. Good. Again, we're just getting back on that range. We're going to show you a drill now that you can work at home to incorporate these three jabs. Head movement is very important, so we're going to make sure that we're adding head movements in here as well. So we're going to do two step-in jabs. We're going to anticipate a return shot, so we're going to slip our head off to the side. We're then going to throw a travelling jab and then we're going to anticipate our opponent pressuring us, so we're going to throw a defensive jab. And then maybe a little bit of head movements at the end of this as well. So, to, to go again, it's two stepping jabs, head movement, travel jab, defensive jab, and maybe some head movements at the end. Give this a go at home, um, upload it, tag us, let us know how you get on.